Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about this mobile app in Iowa and the reason that small businesses in the U.S. they're dying is because we have to compete again. So my business makes mobile apps four or five years ago. That's all we did. So we started a new company called Call Drive and that company has went belly under. I would be the first one to tell you that a uh, business owner, being a business owner is a privilege. And if you act poorly, you will have your business taken away from you by, you know, the government. <laughs> or you will go bankrupt, essentially, what I'm saying. So a lot of you, uh, I, I'm very honest with people on LinkedIn. Not everyone can open a business. Most people cannot. Most people will spend their entire lives as employees. And there's no shame in that employees do most of the work. So I know a lot about this mobile app. Um, I've looked into it. I have researched it from secondary sources. I actually haven't, unless this was the app that they used in 2016, I haven't used it. And I don't believe it is the one for the presidential election. Now, the price is $60,000 for this app. That is way too much money. We produce mobile apps, um, some of them even more complicated than this one, for $2,000 and a $250 a month fee. So when you create a app and you have a, a client, for instance, they want this and that in the app, but of course the main functionality is it must work. It must work. An app does not cost $60,000 to create unless the investors of the app are the Democratic Party themselves. So that's the problem. Government inflates stuff. Did you know that over the last year, we spend $2 billion on air conditioning in the Middle East every year? No, I'm not kidding. You can Google it. $2 billion in air conditioning for the troops in the Middle East. What could what could two billion dollars buy you guys, right? What I, honestly, what could two million dollars build in America? How many libraries? How many quote more roads? But the reason that this company got the investment it did, I, I, sorry, the reason this company got this job is because they knew someone, and the someone they knew were the investors, uh, and they were the Democratic Caucus, invested in this shadow company and that's what its name is it's not i'm not making fun of it its name is shadow think about that for a moment you are creating a mobile app for voters and the democratic party and you've named yourself shadow that's all you need to know about this company could you name yourself transparent or clear vision or some some like re um, it's just so crazy that out of all the names, they named themselves probably the worst. Of all the names they could have chosen, they picked the worst possible brand name because at the end of the day, it doesn't mat matter what their name. They could be na named Corrupt. They're still going to receive payment because their investors are the Democratic Caucus themselves. And I face this every single day where I know I'm clearly the better company, but because of personal relationships and because of, I mean, I white labeled for a lot of agencies. So I know that I can compare my work to the work, you know, of their employees. And I know that my work is better. Otherwise, why would they pay another agency to do their work? Right. They would just build up their team. So I know I'm, producing the best, um, I, I'm producing the best marketing content or the marketing SEO and PPC. I, I'm the only Google award winner for the top content creator of the pay-per-click community, yet they won't hire me unless I white label, which means I pretend that I work at this other company. So I've worked with Fortune 500 companies, Fortune very large companies before but only because I worked under, quote, as a fake employee of said company. 
and the quality of work compared to their quality of work is night and day. But I will never get hired to make an app like this because I, might, I don't have investors who are the Democratic caucus. And that's the problem with not just the Democratic part. That's a problem with that's every small business faces this where maybe they have a client, they do a really good job, and then the client leaves and they have no idea why because the client has been promised by this larger company or they know a friend or they've won and dined them. It's very shady. Like this company could have been called Shady, and I think that would have been better named than Shadow. Literally, this company's named themselves Shadow, and they make mobile apps for elections. And they were going to make, they were going to do another state. They were going to do multiple states. So at the end of the day, uh, this is because the Democratic Party hired someone who was not, or hired a team, or hired this company called Shadow that was incompetent and not capable of delivering. So this is the problem. Now, when you talk about bridges and you talk about highways and you talk about everything else under the sun, this is the same problem. That's why we're paying $2 billion for air conditioning in the Middle East a year since we've been there because they will find a way to waste money. So these contractors who are paid trillions of dollars to build schools and medical facilities to win the people over Afghanistan, right? We're going to win them over. Uh, there's not like a single school. There's not a single hospital. There's not a library. There's not a museum. Number one, why are we building these things in this country anyway? So why do we need to contract this? And those contracts are really expensive, right? Because then they're security contracts. There you go. We're building these hospitals and schools because we need to pay the security, Blackwater, money to protect the builders. of, And nothing gets built. It's all just a big scam. And I can, I can tell you this. Uh, during Puerto Rico, Hurricane Harvey hit Puerto Rico. So during Hurricane Harvey, Puerto Rico was hit real devastated. And the government, the U.S. government, had to find someone to provide food because there was no electricity. Um, there was not. There was no food. People were literally starving. Women and children were starving on the streets because there was no food. So who did they pick? Well, what if happen? What if we pick a friend of a friend? And she's just one person, and we're going to give her $5 million to produce 500,000 meals, and she's going to say, yep, I can do it. So she starts hiring people. There's no team. There's no training in place. How would we expect one person with no business experience to produce 500,000 meals? She would be better off just buying 500,000 McDonald's meals and then just rebranding it. Because then at least he delivered it. But it turned out delivery was, I mean, this is all reported. That's why I like Andrew Yang. I think that the universal basic income is so much better because it puts the money in the people. When you put the money in the government, it's just whoever knows the governor, or whoever knows the senator, whoever. I mean, think about the subsidies for coal miners in West Virginia. Do you realize we're in 2020 and we're still mining coal? Like, think about that for a moment. Just logically think about all the energy sources available to us and then coal. The reason coal mining is still profitable is because there is a huge subsidy on it. Do you know farmers are paid money not to produce corn? and Farmers are paid more money not to farm than they are to farm. In some situations. And that's the same with this. I, you know, I could develop this mobile app for pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar. And yet, they're going to go with uh, this company called Shadow and give them $60,000. I'm sure they're going to pay them another $60,000 to develop an app. And the reason they're doing it is because their investors... Uh, their investors are benefiting, right? It, it's double dipping. So, ha. Huh. 
And also, hey, Mayor P also hired the same company. So wouldn't that make sense? You know, hey, why do, if this company is owned by the Democratic caucus, then wouldn't it be make more sense for us as the Democratic Party to hire this company to give money to the Democratic caucus to help us? If we're Mayor P or we're Andrew Yang, if we're Mayor P, I'm, I'm thinking Andrew Yang is principal, so we won't do this. We should work with the company that pays the Democratic caucus indirectly by using their companies called Shadow. Wow, much wow, right? So essentially, it is very sad. And the reason that it is so sad, in my opinion, is that this is just a, it's a snapshot of what I fight against every single day. I fight against these larger companies that have kickbacks and payouts and, you know, bri essentially bribing people to use their companies. And then their larger company then hires my, my company to do all the work. But I can never get the original contract because I don't know the right people. And that's why I need Andrew Yang to win. Because if the money goes from the government, I don't, I really don't like giving the government. Like I don't. I think the government has enough money already. And if you give it like more money, it'll just mishandle the money, and it'll just give it to a private contractor. I mean, that's why you see a lot of people go straight from politics into a lot of people from the Department of Environmental Quality which is supposed to ensure that our environment is healthy and safe and the trees are growing, they go straight into private and ExxonMobil or some type of oil and gas company right after. There's no... Let, let me just say this. As someone who's run Democratic campaigns, you need to know someone to get an in. And we did. And I could have continued to run Democratic campaigns the rest of my life. But I w decided, you know what? I want to help small business... And I'm the best that is out there. I'm the I know, and Google knows I'm the best. So just like I live in humble Texas, I decided to do something that was more difficult and tougher, and that was to help small businesses that actually needed it instead of just get hefty payouts by the. So I'm not going to make too many claims on my Democratic campaigns because maybe one day I want to run uh, some other campaigns, and I get asked a lot. Because I won a pretty big one in uh, Harris County. So that's where I live, Tex uh, Houston, Texas. Harris County is the county of Houston. But I, I don't, I mean, this is what I face every single day. And I'd much rather have the money go into the pockets of the people instead of going into who knows what mobile app. Because then the people have a, a, a regular business has a much higher chance of hiring me than the Democratic caucus. Because I don't have investors who are from the Democratic caucus. Hi guys.